Hi everybody and welcome to the interview show. My name is Darren Valdez and I'll be your host this afternoon. Today we're visiting with a uh, executive uh, director of Dirt Coffee program. Um, it's a program here in Denver that does coffee and um, it works with the Autism Society. Uh, this is Lauren Tomey. She's going to join us today. Lauren, uh, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me. You're welcome. Um, tell me, how did you get started with the Dirt Coffee Bar and um, what exactly is it? Sure. So Dirt Coffee is a nonprofit coffee truck that serves the Denver metro area and we have a mission to employ young adults with autism. Um, so we partner with a couple of organizations like Garden, the Autism Society of Colorado, and the Division of Vocational Rehabilitation to train and employ individuals on the spectrum who would otherwise have a difficult time finding employment. Um, I got started um, with autism in undergrad and I was working with middle school age students who were on the spectrum and just fell in love with it. Came back to Colorado um, and started an organization that does community-based therapy for children with autism and then really recognized there's a huge need for employment for individuals on the spectrum. So came up with Dirt Coffee. That's a great idea. Thank you. What other kind of products do you sell besides coffee? Why not ice cream? Sure. So um, everybody loves coffee, especially here in Denver. Um, it's the second largest traded commodity in the world. So it's really easy to sell and to we use it to um, spread awareness for our mission. Um, but you can also find pastries, tea, and um, other coffee-related items to be enjoyed from the truck. Hmm. I love coffee, so that's a good idea. <laughs> Would you tell me about the process of evaluation of your employees and how you keep your level of customer service high with new, new, new trainees? Sure. So um, we work with the Division of Voc Rehab, um, and our employment cultivation program has been nationally recognized as being successful in employing and training people on this spectrum. Um, so we have a variety of ways of training the individual one-on-one. -on -one. Um, they work with a job coach pretty consistently throughout the entire process, which could take anywhere from three months to a couple years, depending on where they're at and what skills need to be developed. Um, so we start with usually a personality assessment to see where they're at and then before getting them on the truck evaluate what skills they have and where their interests lie and then work with them one-on-one -on, -one on the truck to develop those skills and eventually have them work towards employment outside of the truck in their community. Tell us about the uh, program's association with the Autism Society and maybe some events you've been part of. Sure. So I also sit on the board of the Autism Society of Colorado and they've been really great they sponsor our truck and invite us to a lot of their events, um, like the Harvest Festival, which is a um, fall event for individuals on the spectrum to just come and learn about different programs in their community. So we sell coffee there. Um, they also do a walk every summer where we were featured at last year, and we're excited to be at this year as well. What's been the most challenging uh event that you've gone through or, or maybe the challenge, most challenging, uh, what, what's the biggest challenge you've, you've seen coming, starting this program? Sure. Um, our greatest challenge hasn't been actually training and employing individuals with autism, but rather um, getting our mission out and helping the community to be aware that there is a need and having other employers hire individuals on the spectrum. And how can people find out more about uh, the Dirt Coffee Program and the Autism Society? Yeah, so um, you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at Dirt Coffee. We also have a website where we list all of our upcoming events at www.dirtcoffee.org. Thank you very much. I appreciate you joining us today. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah. Well, that's all we have for you today. Um, thank you for joining us at the interview show. Um, we will see you next week. And uh, as always, have a wonderful evening. And almost made five minutes. <laughs> 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 and thank you very much.